So from a municipal perspective, what are the key factors for success? Well, I personally think the fact that we put the 100 years on it is, it was brilliant. And like Jody, I can't quite remember who came up with it. I think it was a discussion, but I think it was actually Jody that said, what about 100 years? I'm pretty sure it was actually. <laughs> you know, so I've, I've got to commend her for that. We all jumped right on board because uh, my experience uh, is with the Colquitts Creek. Um, it had just, the late 60s had been adopted, a plan there, and one of the first things I did was, was uh, work on looking at uh, acquiring some lands there, and we're still not done acquiring lands along the Colquitts, and that's a creek that is, of course, open throughout its length, and the municipality, I think, is really proud of, of keeping that open, and it was probably the uh, enclosure of this creek that set some people in Saanich, uh, the engineers and the planners at that time looking at Colquitts, and they did a, a plan that set us down the road to make sure the Colquitts stayed open. So it's kind of interesting that it goes in a circle and we all come back to the same place again. Success is gonna be slow, I think. It's gonna be steady though, and it's gonna be steady because we can, this plan will give us the opportunity to pick off little pieces to, to work on. And you don't have to do the you know, the 20 million, the 40 million, um, and what ISMP approach. We can take small pieces, we can put them year by year into a capital plan or a five year plan and start picking those um, things off. And we know what they, they need to be now. Um, somebody earlier talked about what about other watersheds. This will be an opportunity to imitate it. I'm not sure that uh, we have another watershed, certainly for Saanich, that is. Um, is in need of a, quite the same type of plan. I'm not sure there's the same, another watershed that has the same uh, interjurisdictional approach, but certainly it is something that we can imitate. Um, not identifying a total price tag. I know that one of the first, uh, I think it was the stormwater plan that we, we published, took it to directors and Man, did they step back and they said, boy, the politicians aren't going to be too happy with this. I'm not sure this is going to go anywhere. And it was, you know, everybody was sort of dancing around with those big price tags. So, again, I think it was really important that all of that pricing came out of this document and, and uh, it, it lays out the, the framework to get there, but it doesn't put a price tag on it. And because they're small increments, no one piece will be too overwhelming, hopefully. And that goes to the reach by reach approach. So that's the other piece that's really important. Um, when I was at the recent open house at Hillside, excellent turnout. Uh, I was able to, people are interested in the piece that they know. And because it was reach by reach, you could say, where do you live? And you could point them to the, to the presentation on the wall. They went immediately there. They could start identifying because they, it was their home generally, their, their house was close to that piece. So that's an important um, aspect of it. Um, the other thing is the presentation. I think we've got a, a document that is, is user friendly. There's clearly read maps, lots of pictures. There's a clear um, vision established in this document. And you know, if it's, if it's too technical from a planning perspective, to engineering, people start, the public closes down a little bit. Um, I think it's something we can sell because it's an attractive document uh, and it's uh, beautiful graphics. People can start identifying with it and, and people will want a copy so that they can start emulating it in other, other areas. So that's important to me from a planning perspective because you have to sell something uh, to the community, you have to sell sell this to uh, to the politicians, and um, and I think we're going to be able to do that because it's a, an attractive document. It's it's concise. We haven't loaded it up too much, and as, as Joey I think talked about the uh, the appendices, all that's in the back, but laying out the framework is in the in the front of the document, and it's it's fairly concise and and, um, and easy to read. So. Now it's just a matter of getting adopted by the councils, looking at our capital plans, and trying to pick off those low-hanging fruit and, and 
making things happen.